Hello and welcome to Cost Engineering Professional. I am Ahmed Adel and in this video we will be discussing or talking about everything related to the tender documents, what is the definition and what they consist of and all this stuff starting right now. So I'm always seeing a misconception between what are the tender documents and the tender submission. And actually I'm going through the definition now and I'm going to define the tender documents and everything. But let me brief you first. The tender documents are the documents that you receive in order to review, study, analyze, in order to quote for a project, to submit your price for a project. But the tender submission is how you are going to submit your price for a project. And actually, this video is more about the tender documents themselves. So let's go now to the definition, for example. And as we can see here, the tender documents definition is the documents issued to tenderers to review and accordingly quote for a project. These documents, in addition to some other documents, become the contract documents after signing the contract. So the documents that you receive in order to review and based on your review and based on everything that you will understand from these documents, you will make a quotation and you will submit your price for a specific project. These documents consists of five volumes that we are going to be seeing now. So the first volume will be tendering procedures and conditions of contract. And the second volume is the specifications. Third one is the drawings. And fourth one is the bill of quantities. And fifth one is the soil report. And now I am going to briefly explain each of these volumes, what it contains and what are these documents and how do we use them to price a project. So volume one, which is tendering procedures and conditions of contract in this volume, you will find things such as instruction to tenderers like what to do as a tenderer. By the way, tenderer is the contractor who is pricing this specific project, for example. So as a tenderer, how can you submit your price and what are the instructions that your client is giving to you to follow in the tender? And you can see things also similar to the project description. For example, what is the project name, project location, what the project consists of and all this stuff. We can find also the form of contract, like which contract are you going to be using for this project if your offer is selected to execute the works? What will be the conditions there? What are the terms and all this stuff? Tender bond, if any, for example, sometimes to guarantee the seriousness of your price, they will ask you to submit some money or some bank guarantee that they will keep before you submit your price so that in case your price or your offer is selected, you will be serious about executing the project. So what are the details of the tender bond? In which form shall this tender bond be like bank guarantee or cash or a check? How it should be? All this stuff we can find them in tender procedures and conditions of contract, which is volume number one. Also project duration. Are there any performance bonds required? What are the terms of payment for this project? How the tender submission should be? What should you exactly submit? And what are the delay penalties for the project? What are the markups for the variations in case any in the project insurances and all this stuff will be there in the tendering procedures and conditions of contract. And actually out of the five volumes, this is the volume that should go to the contracts manager and not to the estimation engineer or quantity surveyor, let's say. All right. Going to volume number two, which is the specifications of the project, you will find the civil specifications and you will find the MEP specifications. And these will be very big files that includes everything related to the materials and the specifications of the materials that you are going to be using in the project. And what are, for example, the warranties required for each material and how this material should be applied and things like even the experience of the subcontractor in case it's a material that will be installed by a specialist. There is a minimum number of years of experience for this company. So for example, they will tell you that the company for waterproofing should be there in the market for the last five years or more. So you cannot bring a new company for the waterproofing to do the waterproofing for the project because it's again is the project specifications and how the materials will be applied, what are the tests, that should be done to these materials and all of these things, you will find it in the specifications. So you will have the civil specifications and the MEP specifications. Volume number three here will be the project drawings. And what are the drawings that will be in a project? You will find the structural drawings and you will find the architectural drawings, MEP drawings and landscaping drawings and interior design 
drawings. In most of the cases, or let's say I'm talking now about the residential projects, buildings or villas and so on. So structural drawings are just the structure, concrete and reinforcement of everything. And in the architectural drawings, you will find the plans, the elevations, the sections and some other details. In MEP drawings, you will find the plumbing, drainage, water supply, firefighting, fire alarm, ELV systems and all this stuff, AC for example, all that will be there in the MEP drawings. Landscaping drawings will have the hard escape, soft escape, furniture, swimming pool and stuff like that. And interior design drawings will be the drawings that shows you the criteria of the internal finishes and sometimes it contradicts a little bit with the architectural drawings because in the architectural drawings there will be a schedule of finishes and most of the time let's say it contradicts with what is there in the ID drawings and you will send a request for information to the consultant and they will clarify this stuff and we will be talking about that a little deeper in another video which is the tender process or tender procedure now here i am just briefing you of the tender documents what are the documents that you are going to receive as a tender so that's all about the structural drawings architectural mep landscaping and interior design drawings volume four will be the bill of quantities and with the project or with the other three volumes volume number four will be the bill of quantity of the project where you will receive the bill of quantity and as we have seen in so many projects the bill of quantity will include several sections general requirements site works concrete works masonry metal works wood works thermal and moisture protection, doors and windows, finishes, accessories, equipment, special construction, conveying systems, mechanical and electrical installations. So these will be your BOQ sections and inside each of these sections you will find the items that are coming or measured of course from the project drawings which is section or volume number three and also you will find in the description the specifications which is coming from volume two and if there is anything related to the item that relates to the conditions of contract that also should be there in the description so the boq plays a very big part in your project because actually the bill of quantity is where you are going to be pricing this project and this is a major or main part in your tender submission then volume number five is the soil report and in the soil report what you can see or learn from that you can see the underground layers and the groundwater table foundations levels and excavation and if there are any dewatering requirements and piling requirements and stuff like that so the soil report is also a very important piece of information that you need as a part of the tender drawings this playlist here where i explain everything about the boq in accordance with principles of measurement international in details and is still ongoing i am still uploading regular videos into that playlist because i haven't finished it yet but you can start and learn more about that and thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed being here with me and you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one stay safe take care and bye bye